Okay, so now it's give me a can um Pocahontas. I keep looking at the screen. Which tickles my throat. So I can't do that. I have to do this. Okay, so I'm not looking at the screen, so I have no idea if this is going the right way as I turn it upside down. Pocahontas, the Disney Fi Pocahontas, which is hardly anything like the real story except that John Smith um, and Pocahontas were a thing. Um, but it was John Rolfe, actually. What was it, John Smith or John Rolfe? John Rolfe's in the second one. I did not like the second one. Bleh. Even though it's more historically accurate, even though Pocahontas was 13. But it's about Pocahontas who doesn't want to marry Cocoaum, who's this really stern looking uh, person. She's the chief's daughter. She likes adventure. She likes doing her own thing. She likes, she hangs out with Grandmother Willow. It's awesome. I love Grandmother Willow. She's epic. Um, as a kid, I was just like, oh my god, she's the coolest character. Because it was new, right? I'm never ready, as anybody who's watched some of these knows. I'm never ready with the actual information. As my cat gets pissed off. Oh. Uh. Want us. Give me this. Nineteen ninety five, so it's four. This came out the same year. The Lion King was ninety four. <coughs> Sorry. Um I don't know. I thought Pro I thought Lion King was ninety five. I'm pretty sure it's ninety four now. This came out one year apart. Sorry, everybody. Okay, it was 94. Okay, um. And so, she has a little, uh. Little, uh. Raccoon. This little dude. Miko. Miku. Miko. And then the little, uh. The little, uh, hummingbird thing. Um. Which I don't remember. Flit. Flit. I think. Um, basically, it's new, it's, it's actually, um, Travelers Getting Rid of Indian Story, Disney 5. Um, my brain's forgetting their names, the buckles on their stupid hats, they destroyed Native Americans. Um, that guy's the bad guy, he is voiced by... David Odin Sires, who was on MASH as Winchester the Third, and did the voice of Clogsworth in Beauty and the Beast, and the narrator of Beauty and the Beast, and the priest in Hunchback and Notre Dame. So in the 90s, he was really used a lot for voiceover. He's evil in this. And misunderstanding, she falls in love with John Smith. Who is that person? I'm gonna wash this back and see if it's even any good. Um, who's Mel Gibson? As everybody knows. God. Um, are you better? Is Pocahontas? Everybody knows. Christian Bale does a voice in this as Thomas, who's a very young settler, settler um, who is friends with John Smith. Um, Linda Hunt is grandmother Willow. Awesome. Billy Connolly's in it. Frank Roker. Really good voice actors. Um, basically, it's pretty good. It's not. I don't think the second one. I just don't. It's boring and not that greatly animated and just. Bleh. I don't know. I like I like animals. So I like went to the city being all proper. I know that's her story. Um. But, me. 
and the song uh, Colors with the Wind is like this, and um, Just Around the River Bend, and Grandmother Willow has a song, I think, or she sang at least, um, and a cat gets up your nose with its hair, it itches like hell, um, there's this little doggy, doggy doggy, who's, uh, no, right. Percy. Percy, who is, um, I have to do this backwards. This person's dog. Who he actually trains, he does his sides, he doesn't like that person. He hangs out with Miku and Miko and a little point work guy. And John Smith gives Miku uh, crackers, so he loves him. And I was a little kid, I really liked it. I still like it. It's really good. Um, I always liked Pocahontas because she was different. I liked all the princesses that did things and weren't just... She wasn't with him, but that wasn't the point of her. She wasn't there just to fall in love. Like, she did other things. She was the chief's daughter. She could go. She could sail a boat. She didn't want to do what her father said. I mean, that's angry also. But it wasn't just like... And she actually formed a relationship with John Smith. It wasn't just, we met and now we must marry. Um, I know I can think it down on princesses and all. It's just... We were first fed Batman with superheroes when I was growing up. Not princesses like this now. Like, we're girls like princesses. Like, meh. What's so good about a princess? They don't do shit. Um... In my opinion, especially as a little kid, I wanted to be a superhero. I wanted to go be a lost boy like a big pan. I didn't want to be a princess. Um, but Pocahontas was cool, and she hung out with the animals, and that was a big deal for me. I basically watched like every movie that had a talking animal, verbally talk like, talking or narrated and talking. Like, dead. Um, but yeah, it's basically a good show of the different points of view in the in this movie, thinking others are savages and that they can actually work together once they understand that. That to them, to us, you're the monster. Well, to us, you're the monster. And understanding, oh, why are we monsters to each other? What's we just don't understand each other? It's basically the movie coming to an understanding. Even if that did happen in real life, we still destroyed thousands upon thousands upon millions probably of Indian, Native Americans. And, and and had them in little reservations. They're the Native Americans. We're not native to America. We're all this is my tangent, we're all immigrants, everybody who's not Native American or doesn't count if you're one sixteenth, it don't matter. The other six scenes aren't. So that's my tangent on politicalness. Um, this one's shorter. Next is going to be rescuers plus rescuers down under. Thanks.